minute. Who are you? You know what? I think we're gonna be friends. Y'all, it's Jess, and welcome to my channel. This is gonna be my first video for me uploading like two years ago, three years ago. So this is a new channel, period. So if you're new here, and I know you're new here, please like, comment, subscribe, and click the notification bell because I really wanna get consistent and I'm gonna be uploading, you know, back to back to back to back to back to back to back. And y'all don't wanna miss some videos, so subscribe. Now let's get into the video. I'm going to be doing my eyebrows first. And a lot of people don't do their eyebrows on camera, but I learned how to do my eyebrows. And I know how to do it quick now. So I'm going to do my eyebrows. Okay, I'm not going to answer questions right now because I need to concentrate. That's how you start it, you know. Line, line. That's how I learned. Line, line. Okay. into all that astrology stuff so I don't really know what they be saying about Capricorn but I know they be saying they um straightforward and mean but I'm not mean so I don't know what college do you go to I go to Georgia Southern University it's a good college well, people will be saying it's racist, but I never had a racist encounter. But I know people who have had a racist encounter, but encounter, man. But I mean, it's a good school. You got a lot of stuff to do there, a lot of people to talk to, and good education. You know, that's what we going there for good education. Um, what are you going to college for, y'all? So. Really, I was supposed to be going to college for art, but everybody was like, you ain't gonna make no money. You ain't gonna make no money if you go to go for art. What you major in art for if you're just trying to draw. But I know how to draw good, and I like painting, and I like, I just like all that stuff. And then I was gonna go to school for interior design. Same thing, you ain't gonna make no money, you ain't gonna make no money, you ain't gonna, you ain't gonna make no money. And then I was like, and then I saw like a, uh, I ain't care about what everybody else was saying. Cause I'm, I'm gonna do whatever I want to do. But then I saw this. Uh, it was a um, documentary or something, and then she was an artist. It was talking about how she be living as an artist and stuff. And she was like, sometimes I don't know. Like she was a famous artist, but she was like, sometimes uh, I don't know if I'm gonna be rich tomorrow or I'm gonna be homeless tomorrow because I don't know if people gonna actually like my stuff. So one day I can have a client. And work on this art piece for months and sell it to them and then for the next few months nobody want to buy nothing so i might just be on the street homeless and then i'm like mm -mm, i'm not finna i didn't want to be homeless i ain't want to stroke i ain't want to go to college and then struggle as in being homeless now i got a degree like you know i didn't want to do that so then i was like i'm just gonna change my major i'm changing my major to finance because if i want to be an artist i can really just draw myself like how people be self-taught and learn from like youtube or just by myself so I was like, i'm gonna go to school for finance because and i like finance i like money dealing with money and telling other people how to deal with their money so i'm like i can be a financial advisor so i get up and be drawn and get famous for that or people start liking my stuff and i get famous for that 
But then after I got to school, I learned like you can really get a degree. I mean, you can really get a job with any almost any degree. And when you major in art, you got a minor in something else, like business or something. So really, I could have went to school for art, but I'm kind of glad I didn't because after I went to school, I also learned that you could just learn art by yourself. Like it's no point of even going to class for it if I can learn it by myself and I already know how to draw already. So yeah, I'm going to school for finance, but. Also, when I was at school, I went to philosophy and I just liked the way philosophy was. So I started to minor in philosophy. But I always wanted to be in philosophy, but everybody was like, you ain't gonna make no money, you ain't gonna make no money, you ain't gonna make no money. So I'm like, I'm not gonna do no philosophy, but I always knew I wanted to go be in a class, like a philosophy class just to see, cause it's really like how people think. And I like to know how people be thinking, what people be thinking about and you know how to argue and stuff like that. So I decided to minor in philosophy. And I feel like when you in college, most likely when you leave, you're not going back. So while you're there, you need to be doing everything you can or everything you want to do, want to learn, want to do, while you're there because once you leave, most likely you're not coming back. And who want to pay all that money again? So you might as well pay all that money and do it once. So yeah, so I'd be thinking about this stuff I could be, um, not majoring in or minoring, but like going to clubs and stuff, learning how they be doing stuff. Because I like to do a lot of stuff, not just art, but like making, not making clothes, but like flipping clothes, like their flips and stuff like that. And I like, like business stuff. Like I just wanna, I can just picture myself being in a suit going to my job, but I really don't really wanna do that for real, for real. But if I got to, I'm gonna do it until I be up from something, from YouTube, from hair, from anything, drawing, from anything. I just, finance, financial advisor is just a plan A slash plan B. So if some don't work out, I can be a financial advisor easily because I got a degree. That's how you gotta be. You gotta have a plan A, B, C, D, E, F, G. So I'm gonna let this sit. Where do I see myself in five years? Okay, so, I don't know how people be knowing where they're going to see themselves in five years, like the exact place, because I don't know, because I don't know where my life could go. So, if I be a financial advisor in five years, I see myself being a financial advisor. But if I don't, I'm going to get a degree regardless. So, regardless, I'm going to be a fi financial something, because I've got a degree. So, why not? I'm gonna try it out maybe for like a month or not a month but like six months a year or something but if I don't do that route then hopefully I'm gonna be goddamn mm, famous YouTube famous Instagram famous famous from art something or not really famous but like going up not coming up like a hundred subscribers or a hundred followers like going up like 10k no not 10k because that's five years like 50 to 100,000 followers or subscribers. But when I get out of college, I'm still gonna be trying to do YouTube and trying to do art and trying to do everything else I wanna do because I don't wanna be stuck in no nine to five job forever. So I know I'm gonna quit if I be a financial advisor eventually, but I need to be working on my stuff now. So basically I'm gonna be working on my stuff now so in five years, I want to be like a social media influencer or a YouTuber or doing brand deals, doing stuff like that, making my own hair product. I don't know if I want a clothing line because that's too much. I don't know a clothing line, but I want something. I like. I want to have a brand. So I don't know. I want to have a brand because I always be telling my friends like I am not trying to be working for nobody else from my whole life like I don't feel like doing that taking orders from everybody and stuff like that no I don't want to do that I want to have my own brand and I want to be like an investor I want to invest in stocks and just be up from that be up from stocks and be up from YouTube Instagram brands anything just be up from something that I want to do and I personally put my time into do not from a nine-to-five job basically why did you start a YouTube I made a YouTube because I wanted to do hair, natural hair, like show people how to do their natural hair because everybody used to be asking me, like, how you do this? How you do that? How you grow your hair? How you make your hair look like that? 
how you wear your natural hair out. I can't wear my natural hair out. It's too much. I, I can't do it. And then I used to watch other people's videos, like famous natural hair people, YouTube people, and they made me want to do what they was doing. So I started YouTube. I only did like a few videos, but people wasn't really following or subscribing to me. So, and back then, I used to, I didn't used to quit, but if something wasn't going right, like, if I ain't see no growth, I was just like, oh, I'm not gonna keep doing this because it seemed like it's no point. But I really wish I'd have kept doing it because I really probably would have been up. So I'm starting this page because, well, not I'm starting this page, but I'm starting to back up my YouTube to showcase everything that I've been doing. I don't have to make so many different Instagram pages. And because other people, like all my other friends, they don't got YouTube, but they be on a Boss B stuff. And I'm like, I need to be on my Boss B stuff. Even though I do be on my Boss B stuff on my Instagram pages, but I'm like, that's not enough. I'm trying to be up. I'm trying to be rich. I'm trying to be rich. So I'm like, I need to start doing everything. And other people be like doing nails and doing people hair and making clothes and stuff. I made clothes before, but I don't like sewing. So I'm like, I'm not going to do that. Nails, I'm not going to die from them chemicals because them things be too strong. I don't see how people be doing that. Hair. I feel like I could do hair, but braiding take forever. Make your hands hurt. And then other people be, they be too, mm -mm. like they be too, like sometimes you can't satisfy every customer, even though you done did good. So they be too, I, I don't know. Sometimes they be acting aggressive and getting mad and trying to defame your name because they don't like they don't like the hairstyle trying to get refunds trying to scam you trying to do all this and i ain't want everybody to come to my house so i'm like i'm not i won't be doing people hair like i do my little sister hair i'll help somebody do their hair but not clients back to 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 back because i don't want to do that for real I teach somebody how to do their hair, but really nobody be wanting to learn how to do their hair. They just want to get their hair done. But I be trying to save some money to learn how to do this stuff. So don't be that hard. Everybody else be learning. The people that you be going to be learning. So shoot, I'm learn too. But yeah, that's why I started YouTube. Um, next question. How do you feel about everything going on right now? Very controversial. I'm not gonna say it all right now. It's very controversial. But all I'm gonna say is, We've been going through this for 400 years, and it's crazy how people just realizing that, like, people are racist. Like, that don't even make any sense. Like, how are you just now realizing that stuff been happening to us for this long? Like, that don't make any sense to me. And it don't make sense how people be just playing with it. Like, it's just so funny. Like, ha ha, you gotta pick cotton. Ha ha, TikTok. Ha ha, no, it's not funny. It never was and never will be. People don't be taking it serious. People don't take stuff serious until it happens to them. And it's not going to really happen to them because the way the world is, it's not going to happen to Well, the way society is, it's not going to happen to them right now. So they're not going to really know how you feel. For real, for real. Mm, I don't know. It was at this moment that she knew. I think I'm going to do pink on the bottom and regular, like, brown on the top. <laughs> I'm gonna come back to y'all when my eyeshadow done. We're gonna finish the conversation. Okay, finally done with the eyes. So now I'm gonna do my face. This gonna take five seconds because it takes five seconds. Basically, I would say I'm not gonna go all the way to it, I think. But. I don't know, it's just crazy to me how people be, be treating people like, what's wrong with y'all? Like, some people be so mad and, and hating on so bad on other, other races. Like, it's not that serious. Like, we never did none of y'all. I mean, y'all done did some us, but we never did none of y'all. So, why y'all so mad at us? Like, we're just trying to live our life. We're trying to get rich. We're trying to like, have a family, do everything we want to do. But we got to worry about all this extra stuff. People trying to hold us back, hold us down, and keep us in the same spot that we was a long, 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 long time ago. And we're not trying to do that. And 
and now it seems like everybody mad because we trying to say something but black people dying like come on now okay so i had to go wet my um beauty blender <laughs> Another question. What's my favorite color? My favorite color is uh what's my favorite color? My favorite color used to be blue my whole life. I never used to like pink. But now my favorite color pink. I never used to like pink because when I was growing up, I was a tomboy. Tomboy. Now the elementary school, this girl was gonna say, Ain't no girls play kickball. And then this other girl was like, She's not a girl, she's a tomboy. I was only in elementary school, so, but I was still looking like, what? Like, that doesn't make any sense. Like, like there's a girl, tomboy, then boy, there's no, that, that don't make any sense. And I was just like, that's crazy because she didn't even know what she was talking about. Talking about, I'm a tomboy, like, I'm just not a girl because I want to play kickball. Like, it's just kickball. That's why I ain't never like pink. And I ain't, I, I ain't like girly stuff. That's all. And I was like, I can't like pink if I don't like girly stuff. But now, I like girly stuff, as you can see. I like blue still, but I like pink better. Right now. Like, that girl just said I'm a tall boy. Like, I'm just an alien or something. Like, not like what, girl? What are you even talking about? <laughs> this up because this video get long 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 when i get like like to the finishing touches i'm answering the last question and then we're gonna be done the last question is um why is your name Jazz Jazz the Space? So my name is Jazz the because first all the names I thought of before was taken. So many people had Jasmine Brown. I'm like, dang. So many people got the name Jasmine. That's why it was so hard to find a name. So I'm like, I'm not gonna. I don't want to pick uh, something that somebody else got already because that's them and they want to do their own thing with that name. That's their brand. So I'm like, I need to figure out. Something. So then I was like, what am I doing on my channel? But then it was like, I'm not gonna just do one thing, like how people just do makeup and how people just do hair or just do vlogs or just do day specific trade. Then I was like, dang, what's my name gonna be? What's my name gonna be? I don't know what my name should be. So I was like, I'm not finna rush it. I'm just gonna wait till it comes to me. I was going to sleep and I was like, just up. That could be a good name if I like do a good intro and do a um like explain what it means so people can know because Jasta it do sound retarded just looking at it if you don't really know what it means. I'm not gonna define myself as just doing one tray. Like I don't just do hair, I don't just do makeup, I don't just do vlogs, I don't just my channel gonna be everything. So I'm just like I might as well put Jasta and then every video I Jazz the makeup artist, jazz the vlogger, jazz everything, jazz the braider, jazz the natural hair guru. I can just say all that. So I thought I might as well just put jazz the and then keep the space open so like my channel can define that space if you get what I'm saying. And I ain't want to tell nobody my name because I ain't want to. <laughs> because they was going to be like, what that mean? What, why, you, why is that your name? That don't make sense. So I ain't tell nobody my name. I only told like two people my name and I showed them like my intro idea because I ain't want to tell everybody my name because I didn't feel like showing them the intro and showing them all this other stuff. Cause you gonna subscribe to my channel to see all that. So okay, this is the look. I'm gonna go put my clothes on and do my hair. And I'm gonna be back to y'all. I'm done and this is the final look. Hope y'all enjoyed this. Get ready with me. Get to know me, you know. If you did, please like, comment, subscribe, and click the notification bell because videos will be coming soon. Bye.